Hi guys, welcome to this system. This is um, a long list of all the virtual boxes I have on my machine. And um, yes, so you got all these options to actually investigate, explore Linux distributions out there. In our case, it's all 22 desktops we need to, uh, well, keep track of. So somebody asked a question, has some issues with Xmonad, can't boot it or something, black screen, stuff like that. What you need to know, I'll boot up Xmonad in the meantime. What you need to know is that Xmonad is not your standard desktop. It's actually built. So the desktop you're going into is built with Haskell, a language. You can Google the language. The thing is we've made some hooks to ensure you never end up in a black screen. But nevertheless, it might happen that um, this application with all the packages that, that change, right? Uh, updating your system, it's always about changes into your system, some references, libraries, everything gets changed. And if you don't build it, I can gather, I can have the common sense that then Xmonad won't work. So you're back to the TTY as usual, right? <laughs> That's your, your Linux savior. You go to TTY and you need to rebuild Xmonad. So this is your polybar up here. And yes, inside the live environment, everything worked fine. So the user said, I can just install everything and then boot up and I've got issues. So let's have a look and share the knowledge to rebuild it. All right, so of course there are updates available. This is the ISO of beginning of May, I suppose. And we're almost, well, mid June, let's say. Let's wait for this installation to finish. All right, the video can continue. Let's restart the system. So we've um, done a clean install, always good to start from, from scratch again. If you have issues, you can investigate if it's because of updates, packages, something you did, configurations, anything. And have a look at VirtualBox. How does a clean installation react? So yes, that's one thing we know already. There is no issue with Xmonad, the one from May, it boots up. But then probably if we update, we got issues. Let's have a look. Curl, um, maybe, I don't know, 1.5, two gigabytes. Let's have a look. So these options or these questions are not coming from us. They're coming from, yes, Arch Linux. Arch Linux is 95% Arch. So anybody on Arch or the Arch uh, distribution, I mean the, the base, We'll get the same question. It's just a name change. So you say yes. And then we got this thing, right? Better lock screen git. Because we've changed um, the version. I did the package. Better lock screen was coming from Arch Linux. It was not updated by the Arch Linux guys. So we said, let's have, uh, let's change this because we can't, we can't update the packages from Arch Linux, but we can built by the lock screen and back at lock screen git from the maintainer from the developer was working so we wanted to have that one so i give you the knowledge to do this rdd remember that and better lock screen needs to go we need to have the git version the main the from the maintainer from not the maintainer from the developer of better lock screen the maintainer if i use that word is the word for people who create the package builds on the AUR, Arch User Repository. That's for me a maintainer. The developer is the one who writes the application. Okay, so let's update the system now. And now we will say this, that's another issue for PAMAC. And you need to say yes, because PAMAC, uh, Pacman, sorry, has a capital N here. So if you say enter, it's a no. Hence issues, let's do it, let's do it. Boom, can't do it. So you need to say yes, basically there's no choice. But okay, it's all about knowledge, that's all it is. Yes. 
and then everything can come, can come in and also the one for the better lock screen git version so the version from the github from the developer itself is now installed i'm looking at it trying to find it it's in the long list somewhere better lock screen git might have missed it or it might still be coming anyway we need to update and then like i said xmonad <coughs> is an application it's built let's see if here is your haskell your language it's always a, a bunch of stuff that comes in it's incredible how many packages haskell has and we need <laughs> For, ah, there it is, xmonad at the bottom there. So there is a new xmonad version, which means the whole desktop needs to be rebuilt. Okay. I did miss the better lock screen somewhere. Here is our Arco Linux better lock screen, and here's the better lock screen kit with a space you're back down in your terminal and we look what all these developers say to us there are some messages from time to time not that you should be worried about it but just read them so there's a new pack new here okay fine if you have time you have a look otherwise you say whatever there is, however, stuff in the etc scale. If you see these lines, you know it's not on your system. It's not used on your system. It's in etc scale. And the scale folder is used by all Linux distributions. Whatever you put in the etc scale, and if you use your Calamaris clean install, everything that's in there will be installed on the home directory. Of the user so that's how you can tell bash rc all the aliases you want to make that's how you can say what the background is on xfce or on mate or on cinnamon or whatever desktop it's all in the etc scale that's your future home directory for the user when we update update these packages none of them will be used so the etc scale will only be used with a clean installation so if you want to have our new stuff in, you need to, what we say, scale, which is an alias to copy paste everything from etc scale, make a backup first and put it in your home directory. But that's entirely up to the user to decide if he wants to do scale. Now in tiling window managers, it's super important because the config of i3, the config even of openbox, the config of qtile, of awesome and so on, just keep mentioning tiling window managers it's in the dot config or the, the dot x monad or the dot bsp dot not not the, the, the dot config bsp dolium and the dot config awesome in there and without a correct config everything breaks so for tiling window managers it's and should say a necessity to check what's different what's the config i have and what's the config in etc scale and you can do two ways compare with melt and decide what lines you take or say whatever arconlix provides us a code and type in scale and it will overwrite every setting you have but of course also make a backup to a dot config backup folder now xmonad is not inside the .config, so it makes sense to make a copy of the .xmonad folder. Let me show you that while we wait. Okay, we can't. No. Tunar has been updated. There he is. <laughs> and we can't launch Tunar. Ah, there he is. Okay. Uh, quitting this one opening that one so if you are playing around with settings which is what you're supposed to do basically because you want to learn a control C and a control V is so easy now we have a copy 
and then you have your own configuration and this is this one will be your own but this one be, will be overwritten with scale so the easy way then is go back and have a look what did i change already in difference and uh, comparing with this one what did i change now the articlinks b's are intentionally minimal so if you want to have all the other extra software when we have not put on the iso like this melt thing you need to install it but of course it's already busy here so there can be only one pacman you can't install run pacman twice there is this lock and a on Discord yesterday, we helped somebody. There is an alias called unlock. And this is going to remove this particular lock file. You see? But of course, I can't do that now. It will break my system. It's working. Let it work. Let it do its job. Don't shut down your computer, example. Here you have the line that you need to see recompiling xmonad now because of xmonad updates that's us right that's Arconix fixing things for you use uh, because uh, does not exist uh, proceeds with success that's a line that's important because xmonad you've seen the bunch of stuff that uh, was updated not only xmonad but a bunch of haskell stuff and now it's time to well test if everything still works after all these updates now as you see I haven't done any scales but well it depends right when did we update our system well the wallpaper is changed anyway so that's already something so a scale let's uh, finish with that one since people are often new and I have never heard about scale because I suppose that's specific to our distribution. Scale alias is going to copy paste first your config and the config backup with a date. So here you have already also, uh, let's have a look. So this is what we did. If you type in scale, you get a copy of the dot config. Let's do it so you can see what happens. This is just control C, control V with a date behind it that's all it is so these two guys are exactly the same thing well I don't have my melt yet so sudo pacman minus s melt we have an error here that's another thing people are struggling these days with so there is a pacman version 4 I uh, sorry <laughs> I used to have 5 and we're now to 6 um, and the only thing you need to do is well it says so delete a line or you delete if you want to delete or you put a hashtag it's the same thing it's just just less work <laughs> and there you go you can install melt again and you don't see any error line anymore so i was talking about these two folders right mouse click compare melt is installed don't want to see the same these have these things have changed and that's what you go and check what, what particular thing you want to keep or not since xmonad does not uh, in, exist inside dot config right it's up to you to remember okay let's make another copy and you can call this one eric or something i don't know or maybe dates Control c Control v and start making use of dates oops i did something wrong there My mistake press the front button there so we have um, I was saying that yeah we could make copies so you could make a f2 that's better <laughs> and then two what do one I would su suggest you do it like this like this zero six and then in this case today is the 12th rename so it's going to go if you press Ctrl Shift 2, you'll see all the dates go become bigger and bigger and, and grow. And if you do it like this, it will be nice, um, yeah, chronologically, how do you say, in a nice order. Okay, I hope 
this helps a bit uh, to understand its monad, to understand scale, to know that there are backups, to know that all the Arcanlux Bs intentionally are minimal. So a Super F1, a Super F2, a Super F3, Super F4, Super F5, a 5 we've installed, that's melt. But Super 4, 3, Inkscape is not installed, Gimp is not installed, Atom is not installed, um, 6, VLC is not installed, Super F7, VirtualBox is not installed, and so on. So there are lots of keyboard shor shortcuts that are waiting for you to install the application. It's as simple as that, but in the meantime, you have a very minimal system. And this is what we have. This is Alt F3. So this is XFCE App Finder, because sometimes in the beginning, right, we don't know the name of the application anymore. And we know maybe part of the name, but here you can go and scroll through them again and see, okay, was it again? It was System Profiler. Okay, that's the name. So now you know all the details of your hardware. And of course, this is a virtual box machine, so not much to look at. All right, have fun with Xmonad. It's it's, um, it's a great environment. Maybe let's let me say this. There was somebody saying, I don't know my keyboard shortcuts, and and the point is, guys, learn your keyboard shortcuts because in the twenty two desktops, they're all the same. Super Shift Enter is what I just did. Control Alt T is gonna work. Super Enter it's gonna work. It's all there. It's super fast to have these fingers move over the keyboard. It's much faster than going to the mouse and select anything. All right, have fun. Cheers.